Hey guys, hey! Welcome back to my haircut. Yeah, did it and today. This is a new video of us trying stuff. And well, we're going to start off by showing you what we got from Asda. It's not all new stuff. So if stuff. You, oh. Sorry, just a quick disclaimer. If you don't want to watch this, what we've picked up from the shop, because we did get a few comments of people saying that we should put timestamps for the stuff they're actually trying because they don't want to watch all this stuff and that they couldn't watch our content because we weren't putting the stuff straight away. So if you don't want to watch that, just wind it forward a bit because we're just going to... Yeah, just you. keep on going until you see his stuff now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we picked up some milk because we were running low. We picked up this... Because we are quite in a lemony mood at the moment, are we? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm, it's that time of year where... I feel like I've always loved lemon, though. Yeah. So there's lemon, Sicilian lemon layered yoghurt. I kept going back and forth to say, oh, oh that looks so good. Yeah, he did want and to And you were like, just get it there. And I was like, no, I can't get it. And then we just ended up getting it again. So yeah, reduced from £2 to one twenty. Not the best reduction, but it's okay for an extra day or The bougie one was, like, really expensive. Yeah. That one's pretty bougie. Uh, a new item to try here, guys. So there's the new special edition. And this is the first time Jaffa has done a non-fruit-based Jaffa cake. And these ones are based on the cola bottle flavour. So I think we did Jaffa cake flavours before. We were like the cherry and the something else. We have done passion before. fruit. I don't think we were that keen, really. No, so, it's hard to beat the traditional orange ones yeah. that has that. You just, it's just what you expect. So it'll be interesting to know what these are actually like. You picked up this botanical drink. Ian's still in his gin and Duboni era. I've still got just some Duboni here left. So. <laughs> and then tomorrow we thought we'd make ourselves a chicken curry, didn't we? Yeah, right, I we, think it'll, we kind of saw the ingredients and thought, oh, this will be a good thing to make a curry out of, really. We thought it'd be nice to add some broccoli and cauliflower to it just to make it a bit healthier. Reduced from 140 to 84, and as you can see, it's ready prepared. We do like to make things easy for us if possible. And likewise, some red onion. That was reduced from 55 to 33. I know it probably would have worked out cheaper to buy it and chop it yourself, but... But who likes cutting onions? No one. Really? Well, I don't think anyone Who does. needs to cry more than they have to, really? Here's one for Paula. We picked up these vegan, no pork caramelised red onion sausages. Reduced from 225 to 135. Probably sit those in the fridge and have those some other time. That's if you're still out there, Paula, because I've not heard from you for a while. <laughs> And to go with our curry, we picked up these a little treat for ourselves, some chicken tiki samosas, reduced from £2.50 to £1.50. And this is quite a, a good price. Yeah. So instead of paying £5 for all these ready-cooked chicken breasts, we paid £2.80. And so yeah, there's like... It's an improved recipe. Four chicken breasts there, ready-cooked, so... I think they've improved the recipe. I don't know. Can they put stuff on it? Yeah, they do add stuff, on it. stuff to it. Might be glazed. Mm -hmm. And then we just picked up some peel our rices, which are like 50p each. So that's just our tea for tomorrow sorted. So, should we try these then? Yeah, let's give it a go. And so, it is hard to imagine the thoughts of cola and chocolate going together. I'm not aware of it being a, a combination. Ever. They look smaller, don't they? They do, but I don't know if that's, if that's just Jaffa cakes in general. I think everything's got that shrinkage to it. It does look just like a, a normal Jaffa cake. But like I said, it does look a bit smaller. It... it I smell like it a, almost smells like spicy, like a yeah, like, yeah, like ginger or some sort of yeah, spice. spice. Yeah, but yeah, let's break it off and have a look. So yeah, it's got the as you'd expect. Didn't work that well. For me. Yeah, it is quite tough. Yeah, it's very brown. Yeah, and you do get a, a strong smell, which I suppose oh, you can oh, see yeah. as being curl bottle. What's not for like that or not? Well, let's just stick it in our mouths and see. 
and turn up the plinths for me. Mm. It kind of just tastes full on Jaffa cakey without the orange. Yeah, it goes a lot better than I thought it mm. would. The chocolate doesn't clash with the cola bottle flavour. It tastes like more Jaffa cakey than. It does. I think it works a lot better than some of the other fruit flavours yeah. because it still has that sort of zing flavour that you associate with the orange ones. But instead it's that zing because obviously cola's got quite a unusual flavour. Mm, I think I like it actually, you know. Mm. But yeah, it's definitely pleasant. Obviously it just takes a while because in your mind you expect it to taste But they like... do you put like spices and stuff in cola, don't yeah. they? So that's what I'm getting like a kind of... I don't know, like a pumpkin spice kind of thing, but not pumpkin. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like a cinnamony ginger, but mm. it, it, you can work out when you know it's cola bottle, it's cola. But cola was originally made as a tonic to make people feel What's better in that. that? And so, yeah, I'd say they're definitely, if you like Jaffa cakes, give them a go because it's definitely one of the better flavours. And how much were they? Were they, they were quite cheap? As do they were. Well, uh, 85p? Yeah, 85p, which was. Pretty good, really. Yeah, see, it's the Jaffa, like the McVitie's Jaffa cake. Great price. So, yeah, thumbs up on that one, I think. Mm, yeah. Anyway, we're going to put this stuff away. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next clip. Pestrican Pro. There's a bit watery, but you know what you're going to do. Um, we didn't use any of the new stuff, it was just all, all old style stuff. Anyway, um, we're having dessert now. So we're going to split this cheesecake brownie that we got from Lidl. And these things seem to be quite popular because I suppose we do go at the end of the night anyway. But yeah. They always do seem to be sold out, so let's see why. How relatively new are these things? They must be like I would like to say for sure. They must Obviously be like not. a few weeks old, isn't they? Yeah, it feels a nice soft brownie, fudgy. Yeah. It's got a very glistening bottom, and so it's just the the white stuff on top that's the, that's the cheesecake. I thing. think that's the, what gives it the cheesecake. Oh yeah, it smells very cheesecakey. Mmm. Mm, it's very nice. It is nice. You do get the very... cheesecake, uh, you get the brownie flavour, but then you get that. It's very intense brownie flavour. And then you get like the creaminess from the cheesecake top. Although I suppose if you eat it upside down. I feel like it could have been a bit more full on, like a bit thicker. Mmm. Mm. But definitely, I'd say, as good as a brownie that you get, say, at Starbucks or Costa or something mm. like that. Oh, yeah, that is good. So it brownie. is a very good, nice brownie. Mm. Like I said, for the price that I think you pay, which I'm not 100% sure, probably like 89p or something like that. Very yummy. Thumbs up. Hey, um, guys. So here's a continuation with Tyson new products. So these are things that are new in farm foods at the moment. The, these bubble oh, teas. So an OMG bubble tea. And so my I got the lemon one with popping mango bubbles. And Aaron got peach with strawberry. So these are new to us. I don't know if they'd be like available anywhere else, but I so don't, don't know if they're new to farm foods. They're new to farm foods. Right, okay. But obviously, we're gonna have to peel back the lid, which is a shame because I do enjoy the stabbing through the. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a shame. But obviously, you get your little flavour popping pearls to add into your drink. Makes a lot of noise. And so they are one ninety nine each, which, as far as just a drink of this size, is quite expensive. But yeah, it is really. When you think how expensive it is, like the cost of popping bubble drinks, and if you see them 
in the shopping centre. They're all pretty expensive. And these are, if you look, decide to try and get it, they are in the chili cabinet. It took us a while to find them. Yeah. Well, so maybe that's just a us thing. <laughs> well, we just, I'd seen them advertised as new, but they didn't really say whereabouts they are. Oh, gosh. You get your special straw. <laughs> <laughs> it's very stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm just trying to pull that straw out just there. Just don't catch your drink. Ah. I'm, near, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to say? <laughs> right. That was quite frustrating. But you managed to do it. I ain't gonna lie. So, yeah, there we go. I've done that as well. But you do need these kind of extra thick straws to get up your bubbles. You need to extend it to be able to get down to the bottom. So let's try it. So I just taste like a little bit like tea, like iced tea, like peach iced tea. Is that mm. what this is? Peach iced tea. Yeah, I've got peach now. Yeah. And I got like a sweetness from the syrup when the little balls went in. Mm -hmm. It mine's quite a sweet lemon. I think it's quite pleasant. The balls yes. are quite soft. Strawberry's quite nice. Mm. It's hard to say it's quite good if you want a cheaper alternative to the Costa bubble drink or yeah, it is nice. Uh, or even like the other refresh as well. It is just something that feels a little bit more unusual. So mine's just a basic peach iced tea with the straw, but you can taste the strawberry a little bit. Mm. Obviously I think with all of them you are mainly tasting the tea drink because the bubbles are sweet but it's more just the sensation. Yeah, not overpoweringly sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Not if it's worth two pounds, but then like Ian says you can. It's definitely one of the cheapest ways to have a bubble tea. Because I feel even when we got those packets where you mix it with milk and that, that was, I'm sure that was quite expensive anyway. Mm. But obviously it's up to you, but if you want to try a bubble tea, it's definitely a good introduction. Yeah. But obviously you be the judges, guys. Anyway, see you. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of that evil <laughs> So we have just tried a really spicy, awful pizza. <laughs> and so we thought we'd have these magnum chilling that are new to us at least. And the vegan, meant to be blueberry cookie. But it looks like out of the pack, yeah. And so I wonder if it's like a dark chocolate. It does look like it. So but it everyone um, give in a bit of sympathy because he hates eating off. Wooden sticks. Yeah, I'll just, so just use the stick. packet to help me hold it. Just try not to make it yeah. bad. It. Mm. That is dark chocolate, isn't it? I think so, but because it's mixed with the ice cream, you can't massively tell it's got little cookie pieces in the Gosh. Oh, it sounded like it went on the hard one. Anyway, <laughs> maybe you should go for this pizza. <laughs> Cool it down a bit. See how that's the inside of it. So does it taste of blueberry? Yeah. Scent? Yeah, it does, yeah. Quite nice. The ice cream's quite nice, actually. Mm. I wouldn't have guessed it was particularly vegan. No. Obviously I know the chocolate coating is different than you'd expect from Magnum because it's a lot thinner in. Cookie piece, pieces in the chocolate are nice. Give it a nice crunch, don't they? Mmm. Mm. It's have quite a strong flavour like you can get with the blueberry muffin. Yeah. There is a strong blueberry flavour. 
Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it is. Imagine if we were eating on a day that wasn't really raining, it'd be nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's very pretty with the mm. blueberries entering. I wouldn't have guessed that that wasn't just a normal ice cream. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say thumbs up for me. What about for you? Definitely. So what makes it vegan is that there's no cow's milk in it, is that it? Yeah, there's no animal milk in it. So I don't know if they use what coconut milk. Kind of I guess coconut milk, but I don't know. Mm. But yeah, it's very pleasant. So it definitely, but I can't remember where we bought these from, but we did find them cheaper at Farm Foods. So if you want to try them, go to Farm Foods. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. We'll go and finish this off off camera. <laughs> hey guys. And so we're just about to try this. So it was what we got from Iceland. It's the English Cheesecake Company Frozen Fudge and Cookie Dough Frozen Cheesecake. It's quite a mouthful. So let's see what it's like. I imagine it's going to be delicious because it sounds delicious. It's just, a, it's just a blended up cheesecake. It's like ice cream mixed with cheesecake. You can see there's lots of bits of, I don't know if it's going to be cookie dough, that's all. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's very rich, isn't it? Mm. So yeah, it definitely feels like it is just frozen cheesecake with bits of. Oh, that's yeah, full. So yeah, it's, it's very nice, intense. Definitely not something that you want to have every night, but it is very delicious. Obviously, you can taste it's like very bitty where they like. Blended up cheesecake. Mm. So it's yeah. not a smooth experience. No. Very no. rich in chocolate. You definitely feel like the delivery with what they say. Nice flavour, but yeah. Mm. Very rich. So we're gonna go in slowly pick our way through this. Where was this from? We picked, we picked that up from Iceland. It's in some sort of offer, I think. Oh yeah, it is. It is good. But they are very intense. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed watching us trying new stuff. I'm sure there'll be more new stuff to try in the near future. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and we'll speak to you next time. Bye. Bye. For now.